Hi, Gemini. What's going on with you? It's your girl D here with A Community here to bring you the A B reading for the month of July. I want to welcome back all my friends. What's up, Jimmy? Long time no hear from since the last video. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you show to the channel. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you. Jimmy, you my peoples. Okay? I love you guys. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. This is 8th House Energy. It's not like any other channel that you uh, visited. Okay? Here we deal with uh, the energies of the 8th House. So if you're not familiar with astrology and you're not familiar with the 8th house, you may tend to not understand these readings. You may get personal, take it personal, or get offended, you know, which I really don't care, but I'm just giving you a forewarning because some people never read the about section of a channel. <laughs> so they just think, oh, I go from one reader to another to one, because you got a lot of people who binge watch readings, not knocking it, but just understand that not every reader is going to be the same. You know, out of 10 readers, you may have six of them who do the same type of stuff, but there's at least four of them who are doing something different. Or, you know, they try something different. Here we deal with 8th house energy. So with the 8th house, we're dealing with psychic ability, psychic abilities, mysticism. So we're dealing with all the various occult sciences, sciences. So we're dealing with astrology. My readings are laced with astrology. You will always hear me talking about the planetary alignments and what house what is in. Okay? Because it has to do with your real life situation. Uh, we deal with uh, people's... Uh, how what would we call it we deal with taxes here the eighth house deals with taxes it deals with people's hidden agendas their hidden motives their feelings that they don't let anybody know about so this is where this can get a little rough for people because a lot of people can't deal with the fact that somebody's sleeping with the enemy <laughs> you know what i mean you're sleeping with someone who really don't like you or someone who's jealous of you or someone who you know doesn't they're not happy with you they're just using you some people don't like to hear that see that siren But these are the things that we deal with with the 8th house energy, okay? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to read the cards as I see them. I'm going to tell you what's in the cards. I'm not going to make something up or ignore something that I see in the cards. That's, mm -mm, that's not how I get down. You know, I'm not the type of person who just picked up cards and decided I wanted to do tarot. Like, this is in my blood. I come from a line of people who uh, practiced in the occult sciences, okay? So this is my gift. So if I don't give you the messages that are here and I don't do this in a certain way, my gift will be taken from me. All right. So that's another difference between me and another, a lot of other readers that you deal with. <laughs> all right. So this is why you have to understand we're all not the same. All right. So I'm going to do four cards for each person. You're going to one person is going to you're going to decide who's person A and then who's person B. All right. You might be person A. You might be person B. If there's a good guy, bad guy, there's a Gemini who's doing the dirt, and there's a Gemini who's having dirt done to them, all right, besides the cross watcher. So you're going to have to just put yourself in the scenario in the manner in which it fits. So you're the one who's going to decide who person A is and who person B is in your life. Right now, we're having a spiritual battle, all right? We got a lot of karmic energy going on right now with Neptune uh, being in the house of Pisces in retrograde, as well as Jupiter being in the house of Pisces in retrograde. The house of Pisces is about karma. It's about... Uh, the rose colored glasses coming off, people seeing things for what they really are, whether you are dealing with someone who's fake and you're finding out who they really are because Pisces deals with the hidden enemy. And with Neptune and retrograde, the rose colored glasses are coming off and people are seeing who around them is fake, okay, who's not real. And what's also going on is a lot of us with Saturn in retrograde, we're wrapping up karmic cycles from past lives. A lot of us are here dealing with people from past lives and we're wrapping up these karmic cycles. And so the universe is saying, ding, 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 time's up. Where are you at in reference to this situation? Have you cut this person off? Are you still struggling? Do you still have this person around? What's up? So let's see what your spiritual battle is about for those of you who will resonate. Now type person A here. The overall energy is the emperor, I'm sorry, the hierophant in reverse. So person A, the hierophant in reverse. This could be about, um, you know, the hierophant in reverse could represent a lot of things. But it could represent disbelief, no longer having faith in something, not conforming to something. All right, and we have the eight of cups here for person A. I'm sorry, this is the eight of pentacles. All right, so that's Virgo energy. And then we have the Six of Cups in reverse, which is Scorpionic energy. The cards below here are the Justice, Major Arcana, okay, of Libra, and the Ten of Swords, which is uh, Gemini energy. Now, how person A is feeling about person B? 
person A is seeing that, um, you know, person A is thinking a lot about person B and they're realizing that they need to let go of person B. OK, or they're feeling as if person B, you know, one point they put in work in a connection and they're no longer doing it. So this could be about a marriage. OK, the higher front in reverse could represent, um, you know, uh, a spiritual union. It doesn't have to be a 3D union. It could be a spiritual union. For a lot of you, it is because you and this person were connected in the past life. And like I said, with Saturn in retrograde, uh, you're looking at the karmic connection because Saturn deals with karmic from a past life. So a lot of you are wrapping up while while Saturn is in retrograde, you're supposed to be wrapping up this karmic cycle. Um, and Saturn's going to be in retrograde until October. So what's going on right now is a lot of us are coming out of relationships that are no good for us, whether it's family, friends, lovers. Uh, it doesn't matter what part of family it is. It could be you and a, an adult child. Y'all don't get along. So, you know, you could be stepping off from each other. Uh, but this is your story here. So we have the King of Cups energy in reverse. This is Scorpionic energy with the King of Cups in reverse here. It is upright for those who like to see the cards. So with the King of Cups, this is Scorpionic energy. We're dealing with the eighth house here. So this could be that this person has hidden motives, hidden feelings. Um, you may not know how they truly feel about the situation, and this may be coming to light for person A. So we have the Nine of Wands energy here, which is Sag, okay? And then we also have the six, I'm sorry, the eight of swords, which is Gemini energy. So Sag, Sagittarius and Gemini are opposite polarities in, in your chart, meaning that uh, one end is, if you do draw a circle and you divide it into 12 pies, wherever pi Gemini is, the opposite side of Gemini is always going to be Sagittarius. So I feel like with person B here, they realize that person A is putting their guard up towards them with the nine of wands energy and the eight of swords. They know that they're confused. Person B knows that person A is confused about the situation and they're guarded as a result of it. Like person B knows that um, person A is picking up on something. And this is why they're kind of, you know, fighting them or standing their ground with them. So what person B's actions are is the Knight of Wands energy in reverse. And the strength energy, which is Leo energy. So this is a lot of fire here we're dealing with with person B. So person B could be coming from an energy of being very passionate towards person A and liking the intimacy uh, part with person A. But they could also be coming with uh, energy of trying to control uh, because the nine of wands in reverse, the knight of wands in reverse and the strength energy is somebody who has very strong sexual attraction or sexual um, energy towards the other. So person B has a lot of strong sexual energy towards person A. Okay. Um, let's get some clarity on this. Let's break this down. So we're talking about the eight of coins here and the six of cups in reverse. So this is how person B is looking at person A. It's like, they're looking at them like, did I waste my time? <laughs> you know, um, do I have, unre did I have unrealistic expectations about this person? What's the eight of coin energy here for person A and how they're seeing person B? Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So person A is looking at person B as in, okay, you know, the Eight of Coin talks about thinking about something, really focused on something. Um, and we have that clarified with the Eight of Cups. So person A is really focused on perhaps leaving person B. We have the Six of Cups in reverse energy clarified with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Double Scorpio energy. So with the Six of Cups here, this could talk about, you know, person A deciding to leave the past behind because they realize something. They got clarity with the Seven of Cups in reverse. They're no longer in their head about the situation. So the actions they're going to take is they're going to make things right. You know, this is a karmic situation here, which is why justice is here. And um, in the Six of Cups in reverse, because this is definitely karmic. So what's this justice energy? So we have the justice as the Knight of Cups. So, and then we have the Ten of Swords. So person A, they wanted to make things right. Maybe they wanted to go in and apologize or they wanted to go in and say, look, you know, let's just date other people. Let's not be, you know, we don't have to be serious. But with the Ten of Swords energy and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you know, person A is actually hurting, you know, because they don't want to be single. I don't feel, I don't get that they want to be single. But they realize that person A is not, person B doesn't value them. 
up with the nine of coin in reverse. Person B is not treating them as, as if they, or person A knows that they allow person B to treat them as if they, they, you know, they're not valuable. Let's put it that way. So with the King of Cups energy in reverse for person B, this could be somebody who's taking action to hide their emotions, to hide how they truly feel. How does per So with person B, how they look at person A is the Nine of Wands energy. They could be, person A realizes that person, okay, we have the Chariot energy. So yeah. Oh, well, let me let me get clarity on this Eight of Swords first. Because for some of you, you know, A and B, you may have children with each other. Um, we have we have the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Swords. So Yeah, so here we go. Person A is taking action with the justice energy in the Knight of Cups because they know that, you know, it's just like, okay, well, you know, we can be cool. I don't have any bad feelings towards you, but maybe we should just see other people. Because you don't you don't appreciate me, you don't value me. You know, so I'm going to see other people or we're just going to, you know, hang out from time to time. Or person A could just be saying, I'm not going to hang out with you, you know, on this Knight of Cup energy because you don't see my value. You don't see my worth. This devalues me being intimate with you from time to time instead of getting a commitment. So person B is looking at person A as if, OK, I see why you're being guarded because, you know, you want to um, you want to move forward. The chariot energy is moving forward after, you know, some some hard times here and with the eight of swords and the knight of cups reverse here uh person b is realizing that uh person a is basically person b is concerned that person a is figuring out how fickle they are <laughs> is what's going on as far as with their emotions so the actions, because of the actions person B is taking with the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, hmm. Let's get this strength energy here and take a look <laughs> at the total ending here. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, person B... They're, I feel like they're not, I feel like they're not being honest. I don't feel like they're being honest at all because we got the Knight of Cups in reverse and the, and the King of Cups in reverse. So someone's being emotionally manipulative, I feel. With the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Five of Wands reverse, person B is taking action. Uh, they're dealing with other people, but they're not being honest about it. They're saying that they're not, but they're dealing with other people. And they're, they're trying to maintain, uh, you know, both options here, but they're not able to do it because person A is like enough's enough. But what I also get too is that person B could have a short temper with this Knight of Wands energy and this Five of Wands reverse. Like person B doesn't want, like person, because the Five of Wands in reverse could represent somebody wanting to apologize as well. So, you know, person B could be wanting to come in with an apology. You know, they may be wanting to rush in passionately with an apology uh, to maintain some type of control. But maybe person A has moved or relocated because we do have chariot energy here as far as what person A is looking at. So uh, person A could be moving out uh, if they live together. Person A is like, I'm moving out. And person B, you know, maybe they have a problem with that and they're not able to stop person A from moving. If you guys don't live together, then what could have happened is person B, uh, maybe you guys broke up. This could be past energy and person B could be trying to come back towards you, um, but they cannot locate you. They may not know where you live. They can't find you. Let's take a look at these bottom cards here and then we'll go to the extended and see what's up. So for person A here, we have the Hierophant energy in reverse. This is somebody that they're not able to get commitment from, or this is somebody who's very egotistical. It could be somebody they just don't have belief or faith in. Yeah, with the um, Hierophant energy and the Three of Cups, um, you know, this person may be wanting to reconnect. This could have been someone they were married to or someone that they looked at as someone that could have been marriage material, but it just never happened. Um, and then we have the Page of Wand energy and the Hangman energy in reverse. But it was like revealed that this person was just after sex and that's it. Right. And then with the nine of cups energy, yeah, this is somebody who is strictly greedy. I mean, 
person A, you're going to find out that person B is just solely um, after what it is that they want. They're interested in their meeting their um, sexual needs. And that's it. I got a very strong sexual energy from person B. Like I was saying earlier, and it's just reiterated it. They just want sex. They don't want nothing else. One, two, three. They don't want a commitment. So with person B, we have the king of cups energy in reverse. So this is someone who could be emotionally manipulative, but they're hiding their feelings about something. Uh, and then we have the nine of swords in reverse here. So they're hoping that they don't get caught. Yeah, we have the three of pentacles here. So this person is, is uh, actively working on the queen of pentacles in reverse. They're actively working on taking from this person, using this person, getting what they can get with from them without commitment. This is this person's goal. Right. And then with the wheel of fortune in reverse here, they may be experiencing bad luck now because person A has snapped out of it and realized you're not going to give me what I want. So I'm going to end up letting you go. Now, are there children here? Person A and B could have children with each other. OK, they don't necessarily have to. He could be married, could have been married, but they don't have to be. For some of you, you've already left this situation. So this could be past tense. For others of you, you could be in this situation right now. But I feel like somebody feels as if, you know, they were treated as if they were not worthy. You know, and um, person B, person A is feeling that. It's like, you don't treat me as if, you know, I'm, and, and what it is, is person B does feel that way. They are looking at person A as if, you know, I'm not going to give you a connection. I'm only going to give you whatever I want to give you. And person B and person A is standing their ground like, no. This is not how it works over here, you know, so we're going to see what happens when these two reconnect, if they do reconnect, because we're going to find out if person B is going to reach out. Um, but I do feel like for some of you, person A and B are at a distance from each other. They're not in the same area because um, we got a lot of knights here. You know, we got the knight of cups on both sides. We got the knight of wands. We also have the two of wands and we have the chariot. So that talks to me about movement or travel. OK, so we're going to see if um, these two uh, communicate at all. Uh, and if they do, uh, what's going to be the uh, result of it? Is person B going to reach out? And if they do, what's person A's response going to be? Um, we're also going to look at if person B is dealing with, you know, how many other people or who are they dealing with and what the uh, relationship is like with those people. Did person A meet somebody in the meantime? You know, and if they do reconnect, what's what's going to happen? Are they going to get back together or has person A learned their lesson in wrapping up this karmic cycle? So uh, with that being said, if this resonated at all, feel free to click that like button. Uh, you know we're going to get in deep in the extended. I'm going to clarify each of these more and more level and then we're going to pull some advice from both from all three of these decks here to, you know, elaborate even further on the reading and um, get you the information you can use to make the best decisions for you. So with that said, Jimmy, I'm going to head to the extended. So feel free to join the links in the box below. If it resonated, make sure you click that like button and make sure to leave a, a comment in reference to how it resonates with you or how it resonates with someone else. Any disrespectful or rude comments will be um, deleted. And if, you know, it goes too far, you're just going to be blocked. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just letting you know right now. Uh, so with that being said, uh, Make sure you, did I tell you to subscribe? Yeah, I just want to make sure I said that. All right, so yeah, the link to the extended is in the box below. If this is not your reading, don't worry. I post every week, and what you should see at the, at the top of the screen now is four different videos for Gemini. So there's different types of videos on the channel. So if this one is not your cup of tea, check some other uh, reading styles, okay? So I'm headed to the extended. Hopefully you'll join me, Jimmy. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Take care.